This is the house. This, this is the workhorse. And then there's this. This is the carriage. The carriage kind of needs a little bit of work. The carriage has been put through a lot lately. This house has had a lot of junk in it, as you guys saw. Wet carpet, roofing material, um, furniture, the list goes on and on. The, the whole yard was covered with stuff, urinals. So this trailer has seen some weight, okay? The truck has held up pretty good, the trailer hasn't. I'm 25, I've owned two trailers in my entire life. I picked this one up not too long ago from my welding professor. Is the old Kubota gonna be able to do it? Oh, And yes, it's a New York trailer, and yes, it's made out of steel, so there's only two spots that really need any work to make them look better. This really isn't much of a structure thing because this, this plate is way thicker than this plate. This is just like a decorative piece. Um, so this hangs onto the trailer. This is just for show, but you know, when it's for show and it's not showing good signs, then that's a problem. So I have my aluminum trailer that I built, and then I have this, my steel tandem trailer. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a steel trailer now that I'm down here in Florida, but in New York, I would not go with a, a steel frame trailer unless it was really, really cost efficient. Like this was really, really cost effective. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger, brought it down here and I knew it wouldn't continue to rust. However, we're having some problems with the brakes. I was coming home from the dump with a load from the house here and the brakes were just acting weird and somebody actually pulled up to the side of us and told us that uh, our left rear tire or something was binding up and and that was definitely you know a concern so that's what we're tearing into we're tearing into the braking system so that this thing can stop this thing weighs a lot and when you have it loaded it weighs even more so you need brakes we definitely need brakes <laughs> So it looks like the reason why that blew out was because there used to be a light right here. And then we got a blowout right here and a blowout right here. But like I said, that's really not too structural. They use diamond plate. This is all the structure here and it connects to the front of the trailer and to this portion right here. So I've already gone ahead and put brand new axles on this thing. Brand new bearings, three brand new tires. We blew one out on the way down here. Uh, my brother and dad had to put up with that, um, unfortunately. So this thing's in really good shape. It's just gotta stop. It rolls, it goes, it just doesn't stop. I totally forgot about this part. These wires actually came off here and that's why I sniffed them. So maybe what was going on was these wires were grounding themselves or something and was causing a dilemma. One thing was for sure, whenever we were doing, whenever we were going right, every time we turn the right signal on, the signal would lock up the brakes. Really weird. That's good. I'm checking for continuity. I want to make sure both wires are touching. That's good. Yeah, that's not good at all. So what I thought was going to be a good sign is actually a bad sign. I'm glad I double checked that. Uh, continuity is, you know, checking that both ends connect to each other. So I put it on the white and the white and it beeped. And I put it on the black and the black and it beeped. And I was about to get out from under the trailer. But then I thought, hey, maybe something's twisted. You know, like my brain actually worked and I checked white to black 
and it beeped and then I checked black to white so we're actually crossing somewhere so that's the issue that's got to be the issue and it's in between here because that's what's happening right oh crap Chickity check this out. The red and black wires are actually cut on this thing. So there's problem number one. Our red wire is supposed to charge our breakaway system. Our black wire, I'm not completely sure. I just literally opened this up and found out that we have two cut wires. So chickity check this out. I got it all wired up and everything is looking a lot better, a lot cleaner. I will have to tape it up obviously, but here's all the access that I got rid of so it's a lot less messy. We're talking a good probably eight feet right there. Hopefully we don't have continuity down here. That's good. Very good, we have it. That There was an issue up at the front. Huh? You guys came to watch the show? You guys are awesome. I think the trailer's done, and I'm gonna back up the truck, but I need a co-pilot. Come here, come on. <sighs> Doesn't look like we're gonna have a co-pilot. So far our trailer brakes work, hold the truck right up, which is really good. Now we're gonna see if the brakeway works. When that pin pulls out, it should lock the, the trailer up so that it can't move. Say you're driving down the highway and your trailer falls off, when this, when this pin is pulled, it locks it up and tries to stop it as quick as possible. We got an issue with this guy. I figured out the problem. The problem is the battery's junk. I've only owned this thing for two months and the battery just isn't, it's fried. Because it's working properly, I checked that with the meter. Uh, when it's not plugged in, then it, it shows like 12 volts. But as soon as I plug it in and pull this pin out to you know demonstrate that it's on its own, this just, cuts right off, it goes down to zero. So it's shot. But the system works good. Two of them are under there, <laughs> two of them are up here. Well, that turned out decent for sure. Mm -hmm. 